I don't know if this is legal or not, but I think I'm doing some like semi-legal, illegal stuff in all my videos lately. We out here doing big things at Jimmy John's, taking Jacob, Jacob with me fishing today. We're gonna fish at a local Omaha lake, but well, we gotta get some food first. We got the goods. If you don't do this to your sandwich, we can't be friends. made it to the lake. That's the lake. That's Jake. Let's go slay some bass. Oh yeah, dude. They're everywhere. You got one? Yeah. Add a kid? There you go. Jake's got one. First fish of the day on the uh, Senko. There you go. Flip them in here. Oh, that's a good one too. Uh-uh, yeah, it's not a bad one at all. Yeah, just grab the lining pole, man. There you go, dude. That's a chunky oh, one. Nikes. Two six two. Not a bad one. Should I hold it like that? Yep. Had a kid. There she goes. Yeah, though. That's the thing is, that especially if they're, I've already done their beds, like they've already laid their eggs. They'll, they'll just grab it and move it off their bed and drop it. Doesn't mean you can't catch them. It's just not gonna be one of those like lights out days. Right. You just have to do what we're doing and fish slow. There's one. Yep. Nope, just kidding. Just kidding. We're good. About the same size as yours. Yours was a little bit bigger. Man, he sure as heck fought like he's a I big know, one. Though, so did mine. A little chunker. About a two pounder. Uh, not a bad one. You need a net? No. Okay. Nope, about the same size. I think these might be all males. I don't know. It might be the, the fry garters or something. Go make a cast, another long cast. I think the long cast is key here. Don't jump the last time. <laughs> oh my gosh, every time. Yeah, these are males. All right, guys, we are getting off the boat. Because there's a... Another hidden lake I've never been to, actually. All right, we're gonna walk to this hidden pond and see if we can catch him. I brought a frog and a Sanko. Ooh, this looks dirty. Break an ankle. Oh, shit. oh, shit. oh, shit. oh, he made it. Get out, me pond. A few moments later. All right, well, there were no fish in that lake, so we're walking back to the boat now. I'm gonna see if we can catch more fish on the main lake. Back up on the boat. That's one. A drag slip. That's a good one. No. Oh yeah. That's almost a three pounder. All right, gonna get a release on this dude. He's probably pushing three pounds. Good, nice sized one. 
down about the hashtag. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I let go of my rod. That'd have been fun. But you don't want your friends yeah, to see? That's what it was. Oh, yeet! Oh, that's a good one, too. Right off that log, son. Boy. Top of the mouth of that frog. It's not even not near as big as I thought he was. I think he's like a four. This dude's like two, two and a half on that spro popping frog. There you go. That a kid. That a kid. Jake's hooked up with one on a Senko. He's a feisty little guy. There you go. Look how chunky he is. The chunker on that Senko. Oh, dude, right up against the bank. Oh, it cast right under that tree. A little guy. He was. There, he came off. Oh, he's a bleeding. That's a, that's a male, yeah, a little guy. And I like, I like felt it, and or like right down to my game plan prior. God, I love this. Oh yeet. They are munching the frog. Oh, he choked it. These little buck bass love the frog. The big ones like the Sanko. There you go, little guy. Tomorrow. What's going on, guys? For those of you who have, who have watched my channel for a while, you guys know I love teaching you how to fish. So what I'm starting to do with these videos is doing a little ending segment that goes over the baits, goes over the kind of the tips and techniques, what's going through my head as we were fishing in this video. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So if you were just here to watch the fish catches, you should click out now, cause I won't be catching any more fish. But if you wanna learn how I caught those fish, what I was using to catch those fish, then continue to watch. But before I forget, I just wanna remind you guys that I put all this information that I am about to go over down in the description, every single video. So any video that you watch from here on out, whether it's the rods, the reels, the line, the lures, um, the weather conditions, the water clarity, that type of stuff, that's all that information is linked down below. So just like last time, if you watched my last video, I don't have any of my stuff with me. It's out in my truck and I just am too lazy to go get it. So I'm gonna rely on my memory to remember everything that I was using. So to start off, I was throwing a weightless Senko and my friend Jake actually caught the first fish. I was throwing a weightless Fluke at the time. He caught a few Senko fish. So then I decided to switch up and go to the weightless Senko. My setup on that one was a Gary Yamamoto Senko. I think he was throwing green pumpkin. I might have been throwing black with red flake. It didn't really matter at that time. I had a four aught offset worm hook. The rod reel and line setup I had was a castaway Tyrannus rod. It was seven foot in length, heavy. Again, like I always say in these videos, you guys, you guys might think a heavy rod is a little overkill for Senkos. But normally when I'm fishing Senkos, I'm making long casts, especially if you're fishing for bedding fish like I was. You make really long casts because I couldn't see the bedding fish because it's really dirty water. So you make long casts. And when you make a long cast, you want to make sure you have a heavy enough rod to set the hook. As for the reel, I believe I had a loose tournament MB, and that was in 7, 5 to 1 gear ratio. Then for line, I had 15 pound Seaguar and Vizex fluorocarbon. And our strategy behind that one was we were fishing some flooded grass up back in a creek where we knew the bass would be spawning. We didn't really catch any big females, but we caught a lot of males. Uh, they could have been some small females, you know, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. But we were pitching into that shallow grass uh, where we'd think they would be spawning, and I think we basically just hit them on the head. Um, and then that's kind of how we were catching those fish. And then the second main technique was actually frog fishing, which came to a surprise. I really didn't think I was going to get many frog fish. But I actually ended up landing, I believe, like four or five frog fish, which was awesome because I love frog fishing. My setup on that one was a Spro Bronze Eye Poppin' Frog. Uh, it was in natural color. The rod I had on that one was a Castaway Tyrannus Rod. It was a 7.3 Heavy. The reel I had on there was a lose tournament MB, 7 5 to 1 gear ratio, and I had 50 pound Seaguar Smackdown tournament braid. And the technique behind that one was basically the same thing, uh, thrown up into the grass. Uh, if you guys watched that sneaking into ponds video, I was talking about throwing your frog up onto the bank and then bring it back down. I was doing the same thing. I'd throw it up into the grass and bring it down, and I was getting a lot of those hits right on the edge. There was one where the bass actually ate the frog off of the grass. It came out of the water, 
grabbed it off of the grass and brought it back down into the water, which is pretty crazy. I don't think I've ever seen anything happen like that before. But that was basically it, guys. It wasn't really anything special. It wasn't like we had these fish super dialed in. I think they were just kind of piled up in this creek, whether they were already spawning or guarding fry. I couldn't tell. The water was so dirty. Uh, but we just knew they were back in the creek, and so we were just, we were just pitching plastics. Uh, weightless Senkos, and then I was throwing frogs as well once that uh, once the clouds moved in, the sun went away, I was tossing a frog around, and they seemed to like that. So that's it for today's episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please throw a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, because I'm going on quite a few adventures this summer and uh, throughout the rest of the year that I want to bring you guys along with and uh, entertain you with some fishing adventures and as well as teach you guys how to catch fish wherever you're located in the country. So that's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.